every time they're cute together, it makes me want to cry. Okay, let's be real. Who thought I was actually going to stop watching after the first episode? Because not me. I'm just, I just need, I need more. I'm so excited. I'm not feeling the best. I'm still like on antibiotics after my surgery. So I'm like not feeling too great, but I took a break to eat and blow my nose and whatnot. And so I'm trying to get the energy back because I'm so excited to watch this. I want to make sure that I don't zone out and just like only watch it. You know, I want to make sure that I'm like talking to the camera and talking about the episode and being entertaining for y'all. But I'm so excited for this episode. Oh my god. The chemistry in the first episode was just like insane. And I know I said like they better not take forever to like kiss. It better not be like the last episode they finally kiss. But with it, how it's going now when they literally just met, I sense a kiss the next couple episodes. Please. I hope so. I'm, I'm putting that energy into the universe. I know it's already been out for other people so you know, but it, not, not for me. My universe is different. Really excited to get in this episode, guys. Just a quick reminder that if you want to see the uncut reactions to Gap series, the link at the top of my description will take you to my Patreon, and there you can watch the full episode along with me, so not the edited down version on YouTube. We can watch the full episode together, um, as well as get an episode early. So if you're seeing this on YouTube right now, episode three is on Patreon. So if you want to get an episode early and watch with me, definitely do so. Otherwise, st they're still going to be on YouTube, just heavily edited down. Um, but yeah, other than that, let's get into it, guys. Ooh, we're picking up right where we left off. Cause I was gonna be pissed if it just ended like that and they don't talk about this. She's so whipped, but I like am living for it. Damn, she was on the phone for a long time. Yeah, bitch, Mon. You've known this. She just babed her. Please. No, I didn't mean to. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is she gonna find out right now? Aww. The fact that she doesn't remember, but she just senses that she knows her, like the familiarity. I love it. Yeah, bitch, but that's not your whole life. You had a life before working. Oh, she's gonna drive her home. Ma'am, are you flirting? Is this flirting? Oh my god. Please. Okay, you just want to be two inches away from her at all times. Like, honestly, anything is an excuse. It could have been 100 degrees outside and she still would have been like, Oh, your shirt's too thin. Let me wrap you in my arms and my shirt so you can feel my shirt and I can be three inches away from her lips. Because it's totally normal for a boss and an employee to do that don't know each other. And we totally like don't have sexual tension and I'm like totally straight and about to marry a man. But like, you're hot. <laughs> Does she look that drunk? Yeah. Chill. It's so funny to me how like <laughs> anytime she catches herself like being sweet and like having a moment with her, she turns around and has to say some shit that's like kind of negative. Like, you reek of alcohol. Can you even work tomorrow? She's so funny. Like she's refusing to let herself be fun and nice and have a moment. Is she gonna open the door for her? Cause I'm gonna fucking die if she does. Okay, no. You literally could have taken her home yourself. Oh yeah, that's why, that's why. Even this interaction shows that she like actually cares. Aww. And she got her shirt. Cute. Aww. Why are they giving me butterflies and shit? They said we spoiling everything. Right? Go away, creepy. <laughs> Why so nosy? Well, okay. Did she ask? <laughs> Honestly, how much more clear can she be? Like, I get that she's being playful with him about it, but it's really annoying. <laughs> Like, why don't you respect her decision? 
Did she not text her? She probably thought you died. Aww. Nope. Oh, okay. I thought that was Kirk. He was about to be so mad. Right? That's a little sus. <laughs> you can't just leave the house. My god. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> Goes home in the wig and outfit <laughs> from set. What the hell? <laughs> She's making me marry a, a man. That is so cruel. What a selfish asshole. Because she's an artist? What? Oh. See ya. That's really sad. All she did was show an interest in art. How many people has she fucked? Oh, not fucked, but like fucked over. How many people? I hate the grandma. What a bitch. Do you? I wish you the greatest year if you do everything that I say. <laughs> Who the hell is this? How is that a gift to her? A happy birthday. Here's the arranged marriage that you wanted, <laughs> didn't want. Period. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Because she loves him? Huh? Oh my god. Bruh, my heart is racing. You're the problem. Like, how not self aware do you have to be to not realize that you're the problem? Oh my god. Honestly, I say all the them should fucking ditch her. What a bitch. Do they know that? No. Yeah, and after she has that, she's gonna try to control everything else. That life just isn't her anyway. Gay or straight, that life sounds terrible. <laughs> How about you just cut her brakes or something? Make it go quick. <laughs> Pregnant. Pregnant. The baby. Oh. Aww. Aww. That's the only time besides looking at Mon that I saw her face soften. <laughs> yeah, you look you look really happy, girl. Still worried about Mon. Please text her. 
เดี๋ยวก็ทําให้เรารู้สึกกลัว She's trying to fight the feelings for you. I can't wait though until she finds all these photos. Crazy stalker. It's so cute though how they're both thinking about each other. And they're both bothered. My idol. Text her back. Oh, shut up. Dramatic. She loves to act like... Loves to act like she's unbothered. Aww. 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 This is so cute. <laughs> and the fact that she laughed at that. She doesn't realize that she's kidding. My boss. No longer my idol. Come on. Okay, I'm so sorry I had to take a little break between the first and second clip. Because a wifey came home, so I had to give her some love. <laughs> you can't delete that. That's a good memory. Just get it out of the deleted folder. Go into the recently deleted, restore it. There you go. They're just like, this is all on you. <laughs> she just wants you in her office. What? Just, that's it. Just okay, do it again. If I put that much effort into it and you just say do it again, we're fighting. Oh my god. I'm about to beat this bitch up. Hey. We're almost there. At least it's not. Do it again. She was not upset. She was joking. You're just difficult. You're making things hard though. <laughs> it's, it's different when things don't come easy, but you're making it hard. And that's like impossible to get to that. To do exactly what you want without you giving feedback. And I'll fall in love with a girl along with that. <laughs> Just to be killed in the end. Well, she said it was good, which is fair, but she should give feedback. I think we're alone now. What the hell? Shit. Imagine she's faking it. <laughs> Just to get her attention. All that because your head hurts? What? The drama. The drama of it all. She said, my head is killing me. Let me milk this. Get my girl to touch me. The drama. She's not, uh, she acting yeah, like she have a brain aneurysm. Yeah. Like, honey, I think you're gonna be okay. If that was happening in front of me and it was that bad, I'd be calling an ambulance, not Kirk with the painkillers. Uh, Hi, shady bitch. Damn, so he's like working behind her back with her. He's a snake. Um... Heidi. Intense. She plays that character really well, though. Just date her. Leave Sam out of it. Leave her alone. Why are you looking at her picture, you weirdo? <laughs> She's gonna be taken. Don't look at her like that. Right, like it's enough that she like needs to call for painkillers. For real, she seems like she's having a brain aneurysm. I'd be freaking out. And afraid to leave her alone. Aw, she's running all over. Oh, shit. Just broke my hip. No big deal. Broke my hip trying to find my idol, her medicine. She ran all over to get her that medicine. Aw. 
Aww. She's gonna be even more fond of her too because she's like taking care of her. Oh, how iconic would it be if she was like faking all of this just for attention? <laughs> Cause like power move, you know? I don't blame her. A girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. Mon's like trying to move as though she accidentally laid on her lap. <laughs> this is so cute. Every time they're cute together, it makes me want to cry. I don't need to cry. And the stroking of the hair. Girl, I just got f goosebumps. Y'all don't get it. I'm over her acting like she's stroking my hair. Are you gonna kiss her? Or smell her? What's happening? Smell? Oh my god, I thought she was gonna like pop up and hit her in the face. She's gonna drive that nice ass car. No, uh... <laughs> she said no. Aww. My heart literally melts every time they make eye contact. Aww. So cute. Fall on her shoulder. Do it. Here she goes. Oh, I'm convinced this is all a ploy for her to be close to her. Plan worked? No, I don't think I don't think it's a ploy, but it's that would be so funny and so cute if it was. No. Like, where do you think? You think she just had you get dropped off some random house on the street? Aww. The way she looks at her is so cute. Making sure she gets in safe. Also, I love that Mon just like manifested all of this into her life. She's waiting for it. <laughs> I like how she already knows she got home safe, but she's still calling her. Like, you already did it. <laughs> she's impossible. Aww. <laughs> she is so stubborn, so difficult. Why is she doing that? Like, in her own weird way, she cares and is showing that she cares. But she's just being mean. She's, she's gonna feel bad. Oh my god, shut up. Hang up on her. Hang up on her. Good, put her in her place. Put her in her place. Why you gotta be rude? She's literally like a child. Where like you're mean to somebody you have a crush on. Why <laughs> Oh, I just wish she knew though that like she actually does like her. <laughs> she just has a really weird way of showing it. She's trying so hard. I feel like the biggest issue is that she can't have a win. Like she's not saying anything is good enough. Even though she's doing what she asks and like above anything she asks. And if she could just say, good, that's good, thank you for once, that'd be awesome. So that's how it's gonna be. <laughs> Did she close the door in her face? Couldn't have just like open the door for her? More like she stayed up all night taking care of Sam just for her to treat her terrible. Welcome back, traitor.
รับไปเถอะครับทุกคนถ้าทุกคนไม่กินอ่ะคงรู้นะว่าจะเกิดอะไรขึ้นดิชี่เรนจ์เตอร์คือเซตสวีทอ๋อโคตรเบบี้ฉันจะคราคเจ้าหรือ something like an obvious joke เพราะถือว่าเป็นรางวัลของคนขยันทุกอย่างโอ้ยฉันจะเสียง positive thing for once มันอิ่มแล้วค่ะคุณสามเก็บไว้กินเองเถอะค่ะน้องวอนจ้าทำไมปฏิเสธของหม่อมบอสแบบนั้น but out guys ไม่เอาก็ไม่เป็นไรเอาไปกินเองในห้องดีกว่าม่านดงเกิดว่าชิดว่าแต่คุณไปทำอะไรคุณม่านเขาโกรธขนาดนั้นนะถึงต้องลงทุนให้ผมซื้อขนมมังงอขนาดเนี้ย that was mostly for her ที่เข้ามาดูแลเราในห้องอ่ะเพื่อจะตีสนิทให้งานผ่านใช่ไหมที่ฉันเป็นห่วงมังงอจริงๆคุณดูสนใจคุณม่านเป็นพิเศษนะสาม and what about it ก็บอกว่าคอมเมนต์งานแรงไปไงอีกอย่างอ่ะมอนเขาก็ทำงานเก่งคิดคอนเทนต์มาเสนอตลอด maybe just like give her some positive feedback sometimes เราต้องทำไง apologize tell her you appreciate her she panicked and forgot the whole plot หิวฮึเราหิวเย็นแล้วก็ควรกินข้าวสิโอเคค่ะงั้นม่อนกลับก่อนนะคะ I like how Kirk's trying to like fix fix the situation. She just กินข้าวเย็นหรอ loses all her words when it comes to Mon. She's like what in the hell is going on? นี่ถามม่อนเหรอคะก็ยืนกันอยู่แค่นี้จะให้ถามใครอ่ะ Girl โอเคไม่ต้องอ้อมละคืออย่างนี้ครับคุณม่อน us สามเขาอยากจะชวนม่อนไปกินข้าวเย็นด้วย us ถือว่าเป็นการฉลองที่ม่อนขายงานผ่านหรอนี่ม่อนขายงานผ่านแล้วเหรอคะไปรอที่รถนะ This bitch the gay panic is so real with her even though she like means well she sees you sees Mon loses the plot ตกลงไปกินข้าวด้วยกันนะครับ Who's us If by us you mean her imaginary friend ก็ได้ค่ะ And Sam then yes not if it includes you I hope he like leaves because he's got something work to do because he's a traitor. ไปกินอาหารฝรั่งเศสไหมผมรู้จักอยู่ร้านนึงอร่อยมากเลยอย่าดีกว่าค่ะมอนเก่งใจกินง่ายๆก็พอ He's a snake and all, but like at least he's there to be a mediator because Sam just can't find the correct words to say. My girl is struggling. แอนเข้ามันไก่หรือก็เป็นเกาหรอกสามผมต้องบอกว่าให้เขาเป็นคนเลือกไง Shut the hell up. She can't help but just comment on everything, huh? Why does she gotta look around like, I gotta look bored. I gotta look bored. It's just this whole like I don't care persona. And that the thing is, is like I feel like Mon knows that it's a persona. What's she sitting back there with her fucking knees up? Damn, that is a tiny back seat, huh? ผมเข้าใจว่าอยู่ใกล้ๆคุณสามแรกๆอ่ะมันจะเก่งเป็นธรรมดาบางทีผมยังเก่งเลย Oh, I'm glad that he at least makes her feel a bit more of at ease because he's not afraid to tell it to her like it is. She is the definition of a gay panic. Like she's in the general vicinity of Mon and forgets how to speak like a normal person and function like a normal person. That is some gay panic if I ever saw one. She's trying so hard to make it seem like she doesn't care. And I can't wait for Mon to call her bluff. It's gotta be spicy as hell. Ni, Hun Sam, eat pet with us. Why? Can't eat pet? Man, I don't think Hun Sam will eat pet. Really, Hun Sam eats pig a lot. I'm the one who eats pig the most. Mind your business. Don't you need to be excused to go somewhere else, anywhere but here? Hun Sam, you can't eat pet like this. Man, he understands that Hun Sam eats pig at restaurants like Pang Pang, not at Chawang. การเป็นหม่อมไม่ได้แปลว่าจะต้องกินอาหารชาววังลำดับขั้นตอนจากหม่อมราชวงศ์ลงไปก็ถือว่าเป็นสามัญชนเคยดูสุทาเทพไหมอ๋อโอเคใช่ค่ะ she's finding some words เขาเผาศพในเมืองไม่ได้เพราะมันผิดกฎหมายค่ะเขาก็เลยต้องแบกศพมาที่วัดแถวนี้ this is a great story to tell while she's eating ไปรอดมาก็เรียกว่าประตูผีค่ะ are you scared 
Is the baby scared? I really hope the mom can tell that she's scared. She looks like a little girl. That's like my my girl. I love horror movies and all that stuff. I like being scared. <laughs> she does not. She won't watch anything scary. He's a weirdo. This dude's weird. I'm telling you. What are you suggesting? Ugh, I wish that he wasn't there because I wish it was a situation where she's like, I'm scared. Um, can you come over? Because I'm scared of ghosts. Like Ingfa and Charlotte sleeping in the same bed together and they start telling the fans that it's because they're scared of ghosts. Like, okay. Okay. That's why. Oh, she's bothered. Oh, she's bothered. <laughs> How long are you going to pose like that? She's pissed. She's going to text her. Why didn't you tell me you had a boyfriend? What the fuck? He told me I didn't do anything. 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 Damn. Straight people sound miserable. <laughs> Aww. Oh my god. She should be like, why did you message me? Why are you still awake? Start fighting back, bitch. I'm about to go to bed. Next message. Goodbye. <laughs> it's so cute though how she's like in bed thinking of her. Ladies and gentlemen, we got her. Oh. Oh my god, she's gonna say no. Because she's with her friend, and Sam's gonna lose her freaking mind. Oh, okay. Aw. I wasn't ready for that smile. Look at her. Look at her. She's so happy. That is everything. I swear to God, every time she smiles, I cry. I swear. So it does something to me. It is so cute. Like, she asked that, obviously, because she thinks that, what's his name? Stalker is her boyfriend. And so she said that in a way that was like, so you sleeping alone tonight? And I'm glad she didn't say no, because then she would have assumed boyfriend. Aww. Don't start that. She's going to fight you and you're going to get scared. She's still got her lights on. You don't. <laughs> this is like the futuristic version of taking someone to a scary movie so you can put their ar your arm around them and comfort them. B-O-S-S. <laughs> Aw, y'all. My heart is just bursting at the seams. Aw. She's like... <laughs> oh, I just realized that the blazer she's wearing in there is the one she gave, gave her. Aww. Oh my god. Whose funeral is she going to? Pinning her ass against the wall. Okay. Why did you scare me? Please, that is how my heart feels. This slideshow. She's going to her house? The hungry eyes, though. This show is so cute, guys. There we go. That was episode two of Gap the Series. Um, this was so cute and so good. This show is just like good for the soul. 
it's good for the soul. Like, it makes me so happy. So, okay, a lot of stuff happened. We see more of Sam's backstory, and we find out that one of her, I think, sisters um, wanted to be an artist, wanted to do something different, and the grandma literally burned her paintings. And, and then she walked out, disowned her grandma like that. And then we also find out that I think the other is her sibling as well, was in love with a woman, and the grandma flipped the hell out. First of all, it was her birthday, and she tried to give her a arranged marriage on her birthday. Like, what the f is going through that old bitch's mind? Genuinely. Because I'm concerned. She, too, ran away. And you know what? You'd start to think, like, maybe you're the problem, you know? You know, one time, maybe you're in the right. Two times, eh, not sure about it. Three times, you're doing something wrong. And I honestly feel like, first of all, Vrin's acting is so great because even though she's being crabby, she's got this like wall up and she's doing everything she can to avoid what she's actually feeling. And I feel like that happens when she's talking to Mon as well because she feels herself getting a little bit too much into it and then pulls herself out again, which is what upset Mon so much because she's in and she's out and she's in and she's out. She's being nice and she's being mean. Being nice, mean. That's exhausting. I feel bad for Mon, honestly, because she's being such a little bitch. Listen, I love her to death. And knowing these things now about her sisters or cousins, whatever they are, and then knowing what her grandma's expecting of her, a lot of her actions make more sense now because even just through her acting and through her reactions to certain things, you can tell that she's putting this up as a defense mechanism because she doesn't want to face the fact that she's falling for Mon and that she likes women in general. I mean, she had the headache of all headaches apparently and mon took care of her literally went to the pharmacy for her let her lay on her and everything and got her taken home and then she's just rude to her again she texts her to say she got home because you know that's what she wants and then she says why would you text me my head hurts you should have called whatever she calls and then she said why would you call me did it like i'm not even mon and i'm exhausted but each of these scenes, like even though she's pushing and pulling, you can see that want every time. Every time they connect eyes. And I feel like too, a lot of the sunglasses and like the faces that she's just always looking around and, you know, doing different stuff with her eyes. She's just avoid, uh, avoiding looking Mon in the eyes because she has these feelings for her. And every single time she looks her in the eyes, it comes out. Kirk is working with Heidi. I don't, I don't know what her character's name is, but played by Heidi, and he is a snake going behind Sam's back, but I just, I also don't really understand because he still, like, has Sam's back and cares about Sam, and, like, even went out of his way to be kind of a mediator for Sam and Mon so that Mon would forgive Sam for, you know, being an asshole all the time to her, even though she's working her ass off to help her keep her business. You'd think that she'd be a little bit more grateful and not so rude to her and be appreciative for, like, all she's doing. And their phone call too when she was saying like, why did you text? Why did you call? You know, and Mon crying and just saying like, I don't know, nothing's good enough for you. It just, that was so sad. And I feel like too, in that moment, that was when Sam knew that she needed to fix things. She had had the snacks order and stuff. And, and even seeing that scene where she was like, damn, I gotta, I gotta fix this. Even though she's doing it in a way through snacks, she's still trying, you know? in her her weird way because she doesn't have experience with this and she doesn't know how to make it better because she's terrible at communication and this is a new situation for her and I think that she needs to be more direct but she doesn't know how to talk to people she doesn't know how to talk about feelings because she's had her whole life in a way that she can't say how she feels that she has to push these things down and be strong and be independent and successful and this and that and be a mom and have kids and there's so much pressure on her that she doesn't know how to have emotions. It was cute when he, when she was trying to make it up to her and they were at dinner and she's telling her like these ghost stories and stuff and, and she could see kind of Mon for the first time, or sorry, Sam for the first time be not so strong, you know, not this big cold hearted, rough and tough woman. She's this little girl now that's afraid of ghosts and whatever else, you know? And that was sweet. And it was cute that they were texting and like teasing each other about the ghost situation. And the next episode, it looks so good. It looks like she's going to her house the next episode to stay with her overnight. 
which like, oh my god, I'm just enjoying every second, and I love that even, even Sam, like, texting her and be like, stay up and talk to me for a bit, or whatever, you know, she had said, that was so cute, I just, I can't, it was so cute, it was like extending a little olive branch, you know, she clearly wants to talk to her, she asked her, and I feel like, I don't think this is the end of Sam's asshole comments and not knowing how to say the right things, but I do think this is the beginning of Mon seeing through it a little bit. Oh my gosh. My heart just like bursts every time they look at each other. And when you're seeing Sam in bed just smiling at her phone. And she texts like texts her and then puts her phone down. And then she's just smiling. Oh my heart. As somebody who did not have a good coming out experience. To see her storyline and see what she's going through. Obviously this is a very very extreme situation. But to see how she navigated that and like let herself open up is so nice because I that was that was me you know being in a relationship with a woman for the first time and falling in love and not knowing how to communicate because I hid my feelings deep down and knew that I couldn't act on my feelings anyway so I didn't know how to deal with that once it actually happened coming out was part of that process and ac accepting who I was and learning how to communicate with people and say how I feel and feel my feelings. I feel like I can relate a lot. Obviously not the same as Sam, but in terms of that and like the coming out thing and, and being really cold and not knowing how to communicate and say how I really feel and just all of that. And I'm, I'm really loving this show. It's just make me feel so good. And I'm glad I watched another episode because this was so good. I mean, we're already getting, getting far. She's going to her, her house to go in her bed with a, a night slip on or something in the next episode, so I don't think we're gonna have to wait forever for the kiss. I'm hoping next episode, or the episode after that. Please. This was fantastic. Another 10 out of 10 for me. I've enjoyed every second of watching this, and I hope you enjoy watching along with me. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys for episode three. Thanks for watching. Good job.